commonly called frog fruit. This plant started blooming around the end of March and continues all the way here into July. Never a whole lot of bees on it at any given time, but usually consistent day after day. commonly called the honey locust, found this one just by riding a bike down the street and heard the sound of a swarm. Turned out to just be the bees feeding in this tree. It was a short-lived bloom, but bees were all over it for the few days that it was in bloom. The infamous tallow tree, popcorn tree. Some people love it, some people hate it. Supposedly it's really great for the bees, but I've had difficulty finding them on the tree. But through examining some honey, about 40% of the pollen in one batch appears to be from this tree. Cucumbers. These little girls seem to work this early in the morning, usually before 8, maybe 9. Enjoyable to watch. It was interesting one morning, it did appear that the bee was working the cucumbers and then gone and working the squash also. Not 100% sure it was the same bee, but really looked like it was the same. And since the two plants are in the same family, I think it's quite possible she may have actually been working both plants simultaneously. Loosestrife started blooming beginning of Mar uh, July. First time I found it last year, it was towards the end of July, beginning of August, and I couldn't find a patch anywhere that didn't have a dozen bees on it. Seemed to be very continuous on this every morning. Got lucky this day, had three bees working a little patch of basil here. It's usually just one at a time, but this was a treat because it's just a real small little group of it, maybe three or four plants. Pepperweed. The bees were on this like nobody's business. I wish I could have noticed it when it first started blooming, or wish it was a way to get a better picture of it. Here's one just doing some grass in the yard. Still don't know what exactly which grass this is, but she had a good pollen ball. Flame leaf sumac. And I found this when it was pretty close to the end of its blooming cycle, so I'm not sure how long it lasts. But there was a number of bees on it. It's just hard to see them. Even using a 300 millimeter lens, these bees are difficult to see in this tree. They're probably 30 feet up in the air, so 
hard to get a good video. In elderberry, when I first saw this tree blooming, I thought with all the little white flowers it would have been a great busy tree for the bees. However, it's kind of rare for me to spot them on it. Mostly flies get on this tree, but occasionally I do see a bee here and there working it. Hercules Club, Devil's Walking Stick, Prickly Ash are just some of the names this plant's known by. Have not seen this thing in bloom without just loads of bees on it. They really, really seem to be attracted to this tree, along with bumblebees and a host of other pollinators. This little bee was working the anise hyssop, and there's a patch of catnip right next to it. The other day it appeared that she was going back and forth between the two, so I came back in with the camera to see if I could catch the same bee going between two different plants. This one surprised me, because she actually went to a sage or salvia here in just a second. It's little tough to follow her, but thankfully there wasn't a lot of bees. She was the only one. And she had a, a distinct orange poll, pollen ball on her leg. And there she goes. At first it looked like she was just looking at him. But here in a second, you can definitely tell she's actually working the flower. Now both of these plants are in the Laminese family. Here was some thistle I found, and close to my house it's hard to find the bees on the thistle, but I went out to a different apiary, and there was a lot of thistles blooming in that area, and every one had bees on it. I even have a picture somewhere with six bees working one thistle head at a time. Totally accidental but pleasurable find. This Texas star flowers only open for one day. The only flower on the in the yard that I could find that day wasn't even looking for it. Just happened to be walking by and saw her working it.
This little girl spent quite a bit of time in this flower. I don't know how long she was in it before I walked up. I know I took a couple of still pictures and then decided to take a video and watched her for over five minutes. In this one flower, she'll work it, go up, pack her pollen ball, and go right back in. This seems to keep a couple of bees busy. Uh, my wife probably has 30 or 40 feet of this stuff growing in a couple of rows. Never see a whole lot of bees on it, but can just about find a bee every day.